Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Microsoft Word has stopped responding or is not opening on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Star menu. Type in Control Panel. Best match, should come back with control panel listed directly above app. So go ahead and just left click on that. Set your view by to large icons. And then select the programs and features section. So go ahead and just left click on that. And now you want to select the Microsoft Office from this list and select the change button. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. It's going to ask, how would you like to repair your Office programs? So there's two options here, the quick repair, which fixes most issues quickly without the need for an internet connection, and then online repair, which fixes all issues but takes a little longer and requires internet connection throughout. You can select this option if you are still having problems after a quick repair. From experience, the online repair can take quite a bit of time, so we're going to just select the quick repair for today's tutorial. It will be easier to demonstrate in the short format of my videos, and we're going to go select the repair. It's going to say ready to start a quick repair. It shouldn't take long, but you won't be able to use any of your Office programs until we're done. So I would recommend saving and closing out of any Office applications before you begin. And once you have done that, select the repair option. And it should say we finished repairing your office programs and features. You can now close this window and use your programs. What's it just closing out of there? I would also suggest restarting your computer, then attempt to launch the office application suite, and hopefully your problem will have been resolved at that point. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.